Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Boy, talk about, okay, there were a lot of things happening, starting with, okay, last night, VIP night, and the pageant of the masters, and guess what they had? We were talking about the sinking of the Titanic as part of their genius program for pageant of the masters. Oh, we were talking about the Titanic, and people were kind of curious. Well, I guess that kind of caps it off, doesn't it? Pageant of the masters, all genius, Titanic. Meanwhile, here in Southern California, oh yes, they're getting ready for the ESPYs next week. Comic-Con is rolling up and, oh yes, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are getting ready for an election year. Meanwhile, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. It's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, well because they're running the only candidate to can that basically says could lose to Obama. I mean, the, the, okay, Obama basically... He's got it memorized in his head. For 30 consecutive months, he has said the figures that they were getting are, uh, are not important either one way or the other, but we are headed in the right direction. 30 consecutive months of the same statement because he's locked in his head. Today, I got oh, I got to cover it. This is Rex. Everybody knows, like Bill O'Reilly and Happy him. Birthday. <laughs> That's my birthday, Dad. Okay, folks, I hit the big eight zero, so a big deal. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Stop telling people you're older than you are. <laughs> I, I, okay, put it this way: I'm listed as ten years younger than what I am on my on my thing. So I'm somebody goofed. So I'm happy to go with them. The, the president today totally backed off of what he said yesterday about heading in the right direction because the uh, you know this is this is James Carville. He did what? This is Bob Beckel. Uh, he he just simply misspoke. This is you know the basically the Democratic Party is rallying. Oh Christ! He didn't you know they know okay here's the place. The people that do the reporting on how many people are being hired happen to be in the back pocket of the President of the United States. Last week, everybody in the known universe knew we weren't adding 184,000 jobs. Everybody. So when the President of the United States released it to boost the uh, thing on Tuesday, the market went up 70 points Tuesday on false released information from Berkshire Hathaway. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, why would you want to do business with a company? Basically, he's guilty of criminal misconduct. You know, he uh, actually sort of why Bert, uh, Warren Buffett doesn't pay his taxes, which is basically he's in the pond. You have to do what Obama wants, but it's a. Uh, um, Mitt Romney can still win this election because he got the message: our presumptive nominee, mm -hmm. and now he just and they told him if he our presumptive nominee refuses to go out and kick ass, so he, he's changing his deal now. And report apartments. <laughs> wait, wait. Mexico recounts votes from over half of polling booths. Yeah, because it's a typical Mexican election. Basically, this party held power for uh, half a century because, well, let's see, they were worse than the cartels. And what happened was they decided to remove them from office under the Bush administration because Bush supported somebody that was more democratic. So the cartel started coming on strong. So how do you ha how do you handle people that are slaughtering your people? You put in somebody that's got off a of mean and nasty mm -hmm. and cheats like hell. So report apartment rents rise at highest rate since two thousand and seven. Yeah, go down your street, and you'll find that there uh, there where I'm at. There, there's an awful lot of vacant places that were never vacant before, and I'm, in a, I'm basically in a rent-controlled building, folks. They can't raise the prices, and they can't keep the rooms full anymore, because if you don't have any money, you can't rent an apartment. That's why they're living in automobiles out in, in um, Venice and Culver City. And Obama thanks military heroes at Fourth of July celebration. Yeah, he. Uh, these are the same people that basically he basically puts down and gets rid of if they say anything negative about him. There's a there's a rule of thumb: if a military officer is in uni uniform, they do not have the right to criticize that officer. If a military officer or a member of the United States military is basically in a civilian clothes, he can tell the president to go take a fly and leap. But the president of the United States is cashing everybody out that has anything negative to say about him, which means that 
the military likes him about as much as the Secret Service and the FBI does. Ooh. M5 killed in German hostage standoff. Yeah, it's always good. I mean, um, my father, um, a long time ago, my father hated to be called to these things because what happens is in most of these stand standoffs, they kill everybody inside because when the, when the people are shooting back and forth, uh, here's the thing is, bullets do not have names on them. They hit whomever they hit when you're firing into a building. Oh, that's true. And more than one million in the U.S. are still without power. Yeah, because um, uh, the power grid is, is, is just... It's, it's why you can't go green in our country, because we, we went to the we, a green conference and said it is cost prohibitive to rebuild the power grid. It's in the trillions of dollars, and every time something goes down, they have to build brand new, and the money is not there to build brand new, so they have to go take resources from somewhere else to put in new structures to repair, because it, there is no insurance for the power companies, which... When you, when you hate the power utilities and when you hate these people, they don't have insurance because you can't get insurance for their stuff. And lifeguard fired for trying to save a man outside of the zone. Well, they offered to rehire him. It seems that cities are now going to private lifeguards rather than fire department lifeguards because they can get a better deal. And here, here is how the city how it works. This is, this is where the guy is drowning. This is the edge of where the, where the city coverage allows. So. You say, well, he's drowning 10 foot from where I'm at. They're prohibited by rules of going over to save the person. Oh. Uh, because it raised such a big stink, they said, well, that was, a, that was a misinterpretation of the rules. If it is happening near your tower, you should go to the rescue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they basically, the company, no one knew the company, the city was not doing the service. They found out real quick. Now basically, they got six other lifeguards quit, which meant their beach, uh, the main beach in the city, was left vacant for a day oh. because of the fact that the lifeguards that were supposed to be manning the towers all walked on them. Well, I mean, I mean, they fired him for trying to. I mean, this is it's no. like a lifeguard will try to save one no. somebody. No, it, it's understandable if you have to look through your binoculars and you see something. But if the guy is okay, we've seen it. Remember the. Uh, were lifeguards because they're county, they work for the fire department. If they know somebody is, is in trouble two, two towers away, they all come. They all come. It doesn't Everybody make any difference. Everybody comes. They leave their position and go because the person that is in trouble is more important than what may, ha may happen yeah. next. And fireworks end a festive fourth. Yeah, but we know that was a beaut because the, no, the problem was is that I, I have video of... Um, I think she went. She was at uh, went to things, and she barely couldn't see him. We were generally when the sky is really low, they cut the fire celebration out this year because it was a you know it was a pay or play. They, if they didn't play, they didn't get paid. So they lowered the altitude the fireworks were going off. The problem was in San Diego they lowered it too low, and basically when they pushed the button, everything reacted to the new settings. Rain cools Colorado fires and other wildfires grow. Yeah, because um, the, uh, it, 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 I, this is going to be something. Are the fires worse this year than the past? No. Mm. Uh, you know, it's basically what happens. Here is the thing. If you have rain in an area that generally doesn't get lots of rain, it causes grass to grow and it'll brush. Then when the summer comes, there is no rain in the summer in that area. The stuff dries out. And then we have lightning. Okay, areas where they have no rain have lightning storms. They discovered, well, we thought that it was set by a, a man, may have said it, and then they found out lightning strike did it. And Peru protest leader arrested as emergency imposed. Yeah, basically, I love socialist countries. They always have emergencies. Their emergency is to arrest anybody that's in opposition. An iconic Atari turns 40. I had to an stay Atari. Relevant. It was the only thing that I had. Really? The only video game I ever owned was an Atari. Really? Yeah, I got the first one. It was a gift for me for my birthday. And I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, what it was. Is it one of? Is uh, Atari one of the earliest ones? Yeah, I think Donkey Kong is what I had on it. What happened was, the children wanted an Atari, so they gave me one for my birthday. And that, even, yeah. Yeah, I know how that works. Yeah. Um, Ram turnaround tougher and stock hits a nine-year low.
You know, because that, uh, everything is, we're basically our country is in a huge fight. Okay, they said that Europe is now officially in a recession. And, and they're heading towards depression, and that means we're heading right for the recession. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, that it is this an oldie but a goodie that in a modern age, be careful about what you say because somebody is reporting it. <laughs>